The Flash season 3 finale delivers a shocking death and a big sacrifice. Well, that wasn't the death we were expecting now, was it? Warning, spoilers for The Flash's season 3 finale ahead. If you've yet to watch, tap into the Speed Force and zoom on out of here. Silly, silly TV viewers, did you really think Iris West, Candace Patton, would be the character oft in the season 3 finale on Tuesday night after her death had been talked about all season long? No, no, it wasn't Iris who died. The character fans will be saying goodbye to his HR, Tom Cavanaugh. Let's have a moment of silence, y'all, for our quirky fallen friend before we talk about exactly how it all went down. As predicted, HR had used his fancy face switching device to switch places with Iris just after Savita or had taken her, meaning Iris was safely donned in HR's silly hat while he was the one who was actually stabbed through the back, to then die in Tracy's, and Dudek, arms. While Savita or managed to steal the Speed Force bazooka, Barry, Grant Gustin, and his very alive fiancé took the time to check on the future newspaper article. Iris West Allen's byline had been restored, which meant her future was saved. However, Savita or then remembered that Iris was alive, so his plans had to change, including plans for the captured Cisco, Carlos Valdez. He revealed that the device Tracy was making could be modified to send fragments of Savita or into every moment in time, so he could rule everything since the Big Bang. He also just then happened to remember the time that Julian, Tom Felton, revealed he had developed a cure for Caitlin's, Danielle Panna Baker, frostiness, so he had the perfect thing to dangle in front of Cisco in order to get him to do his bidding. But then regular Barry had a different idea. He made Savita or come have a meeting with him, and then strangely brought him back to the lab. For a hot second, with some convincing from Iris, the plan was for future Barry to rejoin Team Flash and be a normal-ish person. But of course, after some consideration, Savita Ur wasn't into that idea and set the Philosopher's Stone to explode. Barry and Wally just barely had time to get everyone out before Star Labs blew up. Team Savita Ur camped out with his Speed Force gun in the middle of a forest, and was soon joined by Team Flash for one hell of a fight. At one point, Barry ran so fast into Savita Ur that he pushed future Barry out and took the suit for himself and had the perfect opportunity to use the stabby arm on Two-Faced, as Cisco so aptly called him. But instead, he vibrated the suit to pieces, and it became a much more equal fight, until Evil Barry turned on Cisco and Caitlin, Killer Frost. Then, all of a sudden, Savita or went down, and we cut to Iris with a gun, because she is a not-so-secret badass. Then, everything seemed okay for a minute, other than HR being dead. Harry was even back for a visit and Killer Frost decided not to go back to Caitlin but also to not be so killer. Iris was even singing to Barry as he sang to her when he re-proposed while they talked about their upcoming wedding. Then, of course, everything went nuts. The prison in the Speed Force was lacking its occupant with the death of Savita Ur, and it was causing devastating earthquakes and damage all over the city. So Barry said goodbye and sacrificed himself to the Speed Force, leaving Wally to serve Central City as the Flash. Obviously, Barry will be retrieved at some point, we hope, but how long is that going to take? How will he get out? Who will replace him in the Speed Force? Will the West Allen wedding ever happen? Why does this show torture us so?